Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here with a case collection review of some new cases from a company called Armadillo Tech. Now I've got their new Cyber Ranger series cases, and then I've also got their Vanguard case, which has been around for a little while, got great drop protection, it also has the kickstand on it, and these new Cyber Ranger series cases are a little more on the thin side, not as protective, they still have mill standard drop protection, but you know, they look cool, they've got these little colored accents on the sides, and the price is a little bit cheaper than the Vanguard. Now, before we dive in and take a look at all of these cases, I do want to say if this is your first time stopping by the channel, welcome. I appreciate you being here. If you enjoy the video, hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates on the latest and greatest. Now, let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at these new cases from Armadillo Tech. <music> All right, so here we are with the new cases from Armadillo Tech. Now we have the Cyber Ranger. It's only available for the S20 Ultra, but the Vanguard is available for all three of the devices. Oh, so we have two different cases here. We've got the Cyber Ranger, which is this new clear series case. It's lighter, it's more minimalistic, it's not as bulky, and it comes in two different options. You can get it in the clear option that you see here. There's also a smoke option, which we'll see here in a minute, but it's nice because it's got the clear back on it, but then it's got like these uh, translucent sides on them. So it's not really like a matte finish or anything, but it's maybe a little bit of a frosted appearance around the edges. But you can see it's got a nice snug uh, feel on the case. It, it wraps around on there nice. You don't have to worry about it popping off. You've got um, raised protection around the bumpers on the back. This is a little bit different than what I've seen with other cases that usually have recess cutout protection for the camera so this just relies on the bumpers on the back to keep it up off of the surface if you place it down it's got nice buttons with great tactile feedback and then you've got solid openings on the bottom for the speaker the microphone and also the USB-C charging port which works out nicely then you have the raised bezel protection all the way around the front of the screen and what this allows you to do is you can place it down on a flat surface just like this and it'll keep the screen raised up off of that surface so you don't have to worry about scratching up your phone screen. Now the Cyber Ranger series case does have military standard drop protection and that part of that comes in from these little crash zones we just looked at there uh, on the inside of the case. They help disperse the uh, impact in case you drop it and then you see the colored inset, inserts on the edges so there's red and there's orange and those little things actually pop out so if you you know bend or move the case around while the phone's not in it if one pops out that's totally fine just pop it right back in there and it'll go in no problem uh, but like I said in the beginning you've got the uh, smoke option here as well as the regular clear option same buttons same features uh, everything about it is identical. It's just a different approach. So if you don't want a traditional clear case, and some people have hangups with those because you know after a while uh, they'll kind of discolor a little bit after they've been exposed to the elements and you've been using them for a while. So getting a smoke colored option like this kind of takes that out of the equation and it's pretty much guaranteed to look a lot better for a lot longer. All right, so taking a look at the Armadillo Tech Vanguard case. This is a little bit different, and one of the nice features you can see right there is that it has uh, the kickstand on the back of it so you can prop it up for watching your social media videos, all that good stuff. This one is a two-piece case, and it has a phone tray, which I'm going to go ahead and separate the two now. The phone sits in the phone tray, pops into the main part of the case, and it gives you that 360 degree wraparound protection. It's not the same uh, as some cases have been in the past that have the built-in screen protector. Those kind of went away whenever the S10 series came out last year because they have that ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. They don't work well with the included screen protectors. But they still have that phone tray which gives you reinforced bezel protection around the edges so it still helps protect the screen even though it's not holding a screen protector. But the nice thing about the S20 uh, in the S20 Ultra in that series is that it does have a built-in screen protector and as you can see I actually have a screen protector on here it's a glass one you can use this with the white stone dome glass screen protector so perfectly compatible with that so you're pretty much covered all the way around you've got nice um, textured grips on the edges you've got really good recessed cutout protection for the camera here so you can place that down on a flat surface and pretty much not have to worry about scratching it up at all, which is really, really important considering that's the bread and butter of these phones. 
Now, you, like I said, you've got the kickstand. You can use it vertically or horizontally, so you can use it in either configuration, which is really nice, and it just pops right back into place. So a really, really good kickstand on here. Uh, it's built solid, great drop protection. You've got twice the mill standard drop protection uh, rating on it, so you can pretty much drop this thing you know, from like eight feet and not even have to worry about it. Now, it does have nice grip on it. It's got great tactile feedback on the buttons. Uh, you just push them, they pop back into place. They're not super hard to press, so that's nice. And then on the bottom, you've got this little protective flap for the USB-C connector, then the opening for the microphone and the speaker port as well. The only concern here is that you can't really plug in like a USB adapter or anything like that, but you can still plug in any charging cable or dongle just fine. And last but not least, it does have the raised bezel protection all the way around the screen. So you can place it on a flat surface like this and not have to worry about scratching up your screen. Now, the last thing I do want to mention is that both cases, the Cyber Ranger and the Vanguard case, both support wireless charging, which is really nice because some of the more bulky cases and other case manufacturers in the past have come out with phone cases that didn't work very well with the wireless charging. So both of these work with the wireless charging perfectly fine. And I just wanted to take a second and go ahead and demonstrate that so you could see it, at least with the Vanguard. And then, of course, it works with the Cyber Ranger as well. All right, so that's all I have on my review of the new Armadillo Tech collection for the Galaxy S20, S20 Plus, and S20 Ultra. Now, the Cyber Ranger series will run you about $16.98. And then the Vanguard series will run you $29.98. I think they've got some coupons and stuff. You can get them a little bit cheaper if you go through the website or check out Amazon. But either way, they're nice little cases you can pick up. They have a lot to offer. Of course, they have the clear and the smoke versions. And then they've got this black color uh, and the Vanguard. So there might, there might be some other case colors coming soon. In the past, they've had additional case color options, uh, especially for the Vanguard. So keep an eye out for that. But overall, great cases. Great price, nice brand here in Texas, and they have a lot to offer. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments regarding these cases, please feel free to sound off in the comment section. I'll get back to you. And like I said in the beginning, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and little notification bell so you can get updates on all the latest and greatest. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.